Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG Edge and how to learn the 2GIG-FT6E-345 in as a freeze detection device. So at this, uh, at this point, what it's going to be doing is the temperature will monitor for less than 41 degrees for three minutes, and at that point, if it does reach that time limit, it'll send a, a transmission to the central station indicating of a low temp report. So this is the device. Um, it is, even though it's called a flood detector, it does heat, cold, and flood. So at this point, let's learn it in. Go ahead and hit the gear in the bottom right-hand corner and then enter your installer code. Mine is 1561. Scroll down to where it says installer toolbox. Once you're in installer toolbox, hit panel programming. Once you're in panel programming, hit wireless zones. Now, you would find the first available wireless zone that you have. In my case, this is a blank panel. So I am going to be using zone 1. So we will go ahead and highlight equipment code. The equipment code on this one should be 2065 to match its, uh, its actual equipment type, which is the flood detector. So once you find 2065, you just choose that. Let's get that found here. E-series flood sensor, hit the down arrow. Now it's gonna ask for the sensor type. I'm gonna set this as a 24 hour auxiliary to monitor for the temperature. Hit the down arrow. It's gonna ask for the equipment type. At this point we are monitoring for a freeze, so choose the freeze, hit the down arrow. Now this is where we learn in the serial number. There's three gold probes on the bottom of this device. Go ahead and hit learn and then press those three probes down and you should get the TXID into the panel. Hit accept. Make sure that serial number sticks. Hit the down arrow. And then we're going to choose the loop number. Now for a freeze detection device, you're going to choose loop three. Once that's been chose, go ahead and press the down arrow. Edit voice descriptor. So we're going to go ahead and call this basement freeze. Okay, once those entries have been made, you can name it whatever you want. I named it basement freeze, but whatever you want to call it. Press the down arrow. We don't want a sensor chime on this. This isn't one of the sensors that you would really need a chime for. Hit the down arrow. This is where you would partition it. In my case, I'm only using one partition. So S1 would be the choice for me. Hit the down arrow. Transmission delay. Now, I don't, I don't like transmission delays because it, it, it adds another delay on top of whatever delay is already programmed in there. So I always disable that. So I'll choose disable and then press the down arrow. Sensor reports. This is telling this device that it needs to report back to the central station in the event of anything happening. Hit the down arrow. Sensor supervised. This means that the system itself is looking for this device, constantly checking it in. And if something's wrong, the system will know about it immediately. So I always leave that enabled. Once this device has been programmed like that, you hit the back arrow all the way out of programming and it is learned in and ready for mounting. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.